everyone welcome back to my channel today is going to be part two of my june favorites and it is going to be the book edition so i am going to talk about every book on chiclet plus that received a five star review in the month of june i believe we have nine books to talk about that got five stars from either myself or one of my reviewers on my review team so if you want to see the CLP favorites for the month of June, please keep watching. Okay, so the first book that we have is Sweet Forgiveness, and this is by Lori Nelson Spielman. And this review came from Allie, and she gave it the five-star review. Uh, it says here on Amazon, from the number one international best-selling author, Lori Nelson Spielman follows The Life List with Sweet Forgiveness, in which a woman's receipt of two forgiveness stones sends her searching for atonement. So that one was from Allie. That was right at the beginning of June that her review went up, and I will leave the link to her review plus the Amazon link in the description box the below. That we have is It's You by Jane Porter. And this is another one that Allie reviewed. I'm a huge fan of Jane Porter, and I'm trying to think back like, what was I doing at the beginning of June that I couldn't review one of Jane's books? Because I think I've read like so many of her books and I think she is such a terrific author. Vocal on social media, like whenever I send a tweet uh, with her, she responds. And I sent one out the other day. I don't know if I was talking about cleaning my office or maybe like some food I was eating, but she responded. No, I think it was about cleaning my makeup brushes. And she talked about cleaning her makeup brushes and we just had a whole conversation about that. So that's so much fun when an author, especially one who's a little bit more well known and you know how busy they are because she puts out books so often, but she can take a moment and talk with someone on, on social media. I just think that's very cool. So It's You by Jane Porter also received a five star review on Chiclet Plus in the month of June. What I have to talk about is Love at First Flight and this is from Tess Woods. And I reviewed this one and I gave it five stars and I have absolutely raved about this book since I read it. It was, I think it was just in another review video that I will find and I will link to it below, but I went into like a huge long spiel about how much I loved this book and I really, really like Tess Woods. She's so nice. She's such a sweet person when she saw my review go up, she emailed me about it, and then when she saw this video go up that I was talking about her book, she sent me another really nice message just saying you know, how appreciative she was of it. I think that is so nice for someone to take their time out because even as many book reviews that Chiclet Plus goes up, I mean, I would say 70 to 80% of the authors don't say anything back to us. They don't say thank you. We don't get an email saying, you know, thank you for taking your time. So that's kind of turned into the norm. I don't expect it anymore for when we run reviews or we talk about an author online or I talk about someone in a YouTube video. I don't expect anyone to be like, oh, hey, thanks for mentioning me. Like, I just don't expect it anymore. So when someone does, it always kind of throws me off and I'm like, oh, well, you're welcome. I don't want to say that I expect people to do it because, you know, most of the time we're getting asked by those authors if, we'll, if we do it and we say yes and, you know, it's our commitment that we're giving. So not that I don't want to say like, oh, we're just doing this for fun and you need to thank us because, you know, Chiclet Plus is one of my jobs. It's just a job. It's a commitment that I've said I'm doing. So, I mean, obviously I don't expect people to send me chocolate and goodies every time I do a book review or do I? No, but I thought that was very sweet. And this book, I'll, you know, of course I'll leave my review below. I'll find that video where I kind of go in a little bit more in depth about it as well. But absolutely hands down one of my favorites that i read of the year and this is tess's debut novel which also i'm just like amazing job tess amazing job the next one that we have is the seventh day of may and this is by pippa franks and annie reviewed this book and let's see the first paragraph reads jenna's life may be dire but it's normal until a ghost shows up and causes chaos so annie reviewed this one and I'm sorry if you can hear all that noise. My husband is literally right outside the window mowing the lawn. Right outside the window. Like, right there he is. Filming this video, I'm sure I'm gonna get like all kinds of comments about how tired I look. I have not even been awake for an hour, but woke up, ate some breakfast, and my husband was like, I'm gonna go mow the lawn. And I'm like, okay, then I'm gonna record a video real fast. I have like basically 
zero makeup on. I have a little bit of bronzer and I like threw some eyeshadow and mascara on. I always wear eyeliner. I don't have eyeliner on. I feel like when I don't wear eyeliner, I look really young and I look really tired. So, but I really wanted to get this video recorded so I can get it up in a timely manner. So that's what we're rolling with today. So right outside, right outside the window. So the seventh day of May by Pippa Franks. Annie gave that one a five star review on Chiclet Plus in June. Links will be below, of course, for this Chiclet book. We're about halfway through and the next one is The Separation by Dina Jeffries. And Annie reviewed this one and in her review, her very first line, it said gripping from the first page and she also called it stunning. So very high remarks from Annie. It says, The Separation by Dina Jeffries is a sweeping novel set in 1950s Malaya about a mother searching for her daughters. So that is another one that got five big old stars from Annie on Chiclo Plus. Links will be below, of course. The next one is a five-star review from me, and it is for The Santangelos by Jackie Collins. I'm a huge fan of Jackie Collins. I have read, I mean, how many books does this woman even have out? Because it's like a trillion but I've read a lot of them. And this is the latest one, it's the Santangelos. It went on sale on June 16th. It is a big book. Like when I opened the package that came with this book, I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? This is how long, it's gonna take me like a month to read this book. I think it took me like two days and I'm not even kidding. Maybe it was closer to like the three day side, but it reads so fast. Format, it's in a lot of Jackie's books, but it's like very short clips, like short chapters, short section breaks, things like that. So it just makes it so fast to read. I threw it really fast. If you haven't read anything from the Santangelos, really recommend them because they are so good. So this is The Santangelos by Jackie Collins. The next book to get five stars is The Wedding Virus and Other Snippets, and this is by Natalie Shell. This review also came from Annie. And she said in her review that the story is like having a conversation with a good friend. Uh, on Amazon, it says, the wedding virus is a term that describes how all things love and marriage seem to spread like a virus across groups of friends and women, regardless of location or status. Candid, fun, optimistic, and at times downright embarrassing, this book offers an insightful look into topics of love, engagement, weddings, sex, and other scribbles about women. Really good description because I was laughing while I was reading that because that just sounds very true and sounds like a very fun chick lit read so be sure to check that one out as Annie also gave it five stars. And almost done we just have two more to talk about. The next one is The Lake Season and this is by Hannah McKinnon. And this is yet another review by Annie. She had a really good June selection this month. She's my reviewer that reads the most on Chiclet Plus, I can say. She is a very avid reader. We highly, we share a love of minions, which might sound very strange, but me and my girlfriends dressed up as minions for Halloween this past October, and since then we've all just become like totally obsessed with minions. I can't wait to go see the movie. But Annie, my good friend Annie, she likes minions too, and we talk about it through email a lot. And we also talk about books too, but you know, minions seem to work their way into the conversations. But anyways, this is The Lake Season by Hannah McKinnon, got five stars from Annie. So on Amazon it says, Standish has always been the responsible older sibling, the one with the steady marriage, loving family, and sensible job, but all of a sudden, as her carefully constructed life spins out of control, a cryptic postcard from her estranged sister, Leah, arrives at the perfect time. Please come. Iris seizes her chance to escape to her childhood lakeside home where Leah is planning her summer wedding to a man their New Hampshire clan has never met. So that is The Lake Season. Hannah was also very kind on Twitter to give Annie and Chiclet Plus a shout out and say thank you for reading her book. So thank you very much, Hannah. And I think this one is a beautiful cover and the synopsis sounds very intriguing as well. And I know Annie mentioned in her review, she talks about like the beautiful backdrop of the lakes and, and the beautiful scenery that is written in the book. And I absolutely love when authors can really paint those visuals for you in their books and make you feel like you're there with them. So. That one is The Lake Season by Hannah McKinnon. And the very last one I have to talk about is another five star from me, and this is Dying Brand by Wendy Tyson. And this is more on the mystery side of books. It is an Alison Campbell mystery. I have read all of the other Alison Campbell mystery books as well, and I can leave links below to all of those books. 
Um, so from the back, it says, when image consultant Allison Campbell attends an awards ceremony to honor a designer friend, she's thrust into a murder investigation, only this time it's personal. One of her uh, ex-boyfriends has been murdered, and she is tied with it because for some reason that we do not know, he had Allison's name written into his planner, and so she is kind of under a lot of scrutiny as, you know, why was he meeting her? Why were they still talking? I almost dropped the book off my lap. Whoa, that could have been a disaster. I really need to take a picture, you guys, of my setup for when I film because it is so freaking comical. I record off my camera, but I sit on these like real high stools that we have for our kitchen island. So I have, I'm sitting on one stool, but then the other stool is across from me. I have probably 10 books stacked up and then I have my nail polishes are all in like a real high canister that I think is used for like the kitchen for like sugar or something like that. But I put my nail polishes in it. That is on top of the books. On top of that is a large box that actually has, it's something to do with the Chicago Cubs. It has like a, a bobblehead doll in it, but it's a real tall box. And then on top of that is my phone. So this book just went sliding off my lap almost right towards where my setup is and that could have been a huge disaster. But I really do need to take a picture of that because it's kind of hysterical how I film. I really need to get a nice camera one of these days. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. But anyways, back to the book. I love good mystery books. I love Wendy Tyson's books. Um, like I said, everything in the Allison Campbell series I think I've absolutely loved. So far this one was no exception. It's very interesting to be able to follow Allison around, especially in this one, because it was more on the personal side for her, not only because it was someone she knew, but then also it's something that she's involved in. And she also kind of starts getting like blackmailed throughout the book as well. And that part was really intriguing to read about. So I gave that one five stars. All the links will be below and I hope you can check it out. So that's all the books that we have. I think there was nine, but don't quote me on that. But we had a really great month in June for Chiclet Plus. There's been so many wonderful summer releases coming out. So those are the ones that myself and my wonderful review team gave five stars to in the month of June. Everything will be linked in the description box below. So if there's any books that you wanna check out, just go ahead and click that down bar and you will find their information. My dog really wants to say hello, if you can hear her. Yeah, that is all for my June favorites. I'll also leave a link to my June beauty and lifestyle favorites below because that video went up last week. If you like these favorites videos and you like the books mentioned, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will just go catch you guys in my next video because now I'm off to actually get my day started. Hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye. This is the big dog. This is the big dog. She really wanted in this video. Don't touch my setup, girlfriend. Okay. I have like, I always get hairs caught on my bracelets because I wear, I wear so many bracelets. I'm going to, I'm still sleep. I think I'm still sleeping. I'm like sleepwalking in this video. I don't even know what I'm saying. Will you make me some coffee, please? I don't know if that was a yes or a no. Okay, so that is the... I have no idea what I'm saying. Why do I want to film this early in the morning? I'm so tired. I need like something to keep my eyes open. And that's a wrap. Bye.